we finally got our hands on one. The 50 amp DC to DC charger by Victron. These have been hard to get or impossible to get. They've been on back order for a few months now and our friends over at Inverters R Us, uh, they finally sent us one to do a video on. So we're gonna go over the differences between the 50 amp model that just came out and the 30 amp model that has been out for quite some time. Talk about some differences between the two, some things we like, some things we don't like. So right off the bat, when we're looking at this new unit, you'll start noticing at how small this package is. Uh, it's kind of strange when you feel it for the first time, it feels way less robust, which is odd because it's doing 20 amps more capable charging now than the 30 amp version before it. So if you want to compare the two, I have another one here and you can see from every angle I mean, the, the amount of change that they did to this design is pretty astronomical. It probably weighs a quarter of what the old one weighs. The size right off the bat, it's gonna be much nicer to install, but it does not feel as sturdy or it does not feel like it's gonna have the ability to shed the amount of heat that's gonna be built up from running 50 amps through that piece of equipment for long periods of time, hours and hours of driving a motor home or driving a truck and trailer while that's charging from the alternator power. So uh, I'm not gonna knock it until we've tried it, but right off the bat, it seems a little, uh, a little underwhelming in terms of strength and heat dissipating capability. I mean, if you just look at the heat sink fins on this one, compared to zero heat sink fins on this. It'll be interesting to see. So uh, a few things that we noticed right when we started getting into this, um, there's a now a cover on the front of this. So on the old one, the terminals are right out in the open. They're very easy to get to. Flathead screwdriver right in and boom, you're, you're lifting up and down the gate for your wires to come in and, and crimp down on. Very easy to do. Now this new design, you actually need two tools to do it, which is kind of annoying as an installer. So you have to switch over and these tiny screws holding this cover on are actually uh, Phillips head, but they're PH1 instead of PH2, which is also really annoying because not many people carry a PH1. It's something you don't usually use that often. So you gotta get your PH1 to take out these screws on the black cover here. It is nice, at least the screws are captured so they don't fall out once you take this plate off. So they're one unit, good to go once that comes off. Now you have access to the normal flathead style screws um, that come down and they tighten down on your wires. Everything in here looks very good quality. No issues with anything I see there. Um, it's just kind of annoying that you have to have two different tools now and another two steps to get your wires in and landed on that. So. That's kind of irritating, but it is what it is. Um, something they have now that they don't have on the old one, we got the lights on the front. You got bulk absorption and float mode, so you can tell at a glance if you're physically looking at the device on what mode it's in, which is very similar to their charge controllers. Charge controller has bulk absorption and float lights here. And you can tell from the size, this is a 50 amp charge controller versus the 50 amp DC to DC charger. So obviously it's much smaller than even its 30 amp predecessor of the DC to DC charger. But if you just look at what they think is necessary for a 50 amp charge controller to be pushing 50 amps all the time from solar, but apparently it's not needed to be that big or have heat sink fins at all to push 50 amps continuously from an alternator. Victron in the past has always made very quality components. None of their stuff has ever failed on us. So I don't foresee any issues coming out of this or arising from this smaller package, but it is strange to see it. So hopefully it works out good. Um, if some of this stuff is sounding a little foreign to you guys and you're not really sure what the application of a DC to DC charger is, please go in the page and look up the video we did on the 30 amp DC to DC charger. It's much more in depth on what a DC to DC charger is, 
when it's needed and what it does. This is more of a review on the 50 amp alternative that they just came out with. So if you need more information or this is starting to sound a little foreign to you, check out the 30 amp version video and you'll be a lot more um, up, to, up to speed on what we're talking about here for DC to DC chargers. So, so now we've taken a look at the device itself. We've talked about the differences between the 50 amp model and the 30 amp model that was out before it. Uh, and we looked at a lot of the things that were kind of concerning, like no heat sink fins and things like that, uh, that could play a role later on in longevity. But like I said, uh, Victron makes a really quality product in pretty much everything they do. I don't anticipate any issues with this. It just seems a little odd that they were so robust in the past, and then now we've increased the amperage spec of how much power they can put through for a continuous time, but the heat dissipation properties are decreasing. So it's a little strange, but... We'll give it a run and uh, torture test these things over the next few months and see how they go.